asked all the time, how do you monetize your content? Well, look, if that's the question you have, you are in the right place because there are several ways to monetize your content. But before I get started, if you're new here, I am Denise and I believe that everyone is a business and that every business should be online via digital creation. So if that sounds like something you're into, then let's go ahead and get right into the eight ways to monetize your content. So the very first way that you can monetize your content is through advertising revenue. And advertisement revenue just simply means putting a, an ad on your, your website, your YouTube channel, or other social media platforms. But here's the deal. That is really simple and it's done through Google AdSense as well as other platforms that you can use. Now you can Google this, I promise you, and you will find those that you can use. However, you must make sure that you are able to meet the requirements. But I want you to hold tight because there are more on here that you don't really have to have a certain kind of requirement to even start monetizing. And I can't wait to share that with you. Another way that you can actually monetize your content is by doing sponsored content. So sponsored content means that you are creating some kind of content for a company or another brand, et cetera. And it's amazing because Amazon actually has something where you could actually get on there as long as you are an Amazon associate and create videos that are linked to actual products and you would actually get paid for that. Now that's technically kind of like affiliate marketing, but also kind of like brand sponsoring because if you're an associate, then you have gotten the link to see or I guess to type in the information about what brands you would like to actually promote. So yes, you could do advertisement or you could do sponsored content for them to actually help them increase their revenue. And as a result, you will increase your revenue. Okay, so affiliate marketing is one of my favorite ways. And this is number three. With affiliate marketing, what you are doing is pretty much selling someone else's product for them or helping them sell someone else's stuff. So affiliate marketing is everywhere. And a lot of us don't even realize it because when you go to Google, like you type in something you're looking for, and let's say, for example, the product is sold somewhere else, but someone else is writing a review on it or something like that. Guess what? If there's a review, that is an affiliate link. Even on the main, I guess, news profiles or websites, when you go to their websites, guess what you're going to see? You're going to see links to other places or links for you to buy things. And those are affiliate links. So why can't you get into it? Because you can, first off. So look, a lot of us don't get into it because we don't know that we can get into it. But let me tell you one of the easiest ways to get into it. So if you have a certain amount of followers, subscribers, etc., on different parts of social media, then you can get signed up right now as an Amazon associate. But there's even another way to get started for free without having any following or anything. You don't have to meet any requirements except for to sign up. And that is through ClickBank. And ClickBank, ClickBank is super easy to use. However, there are tons of tutorials and you can probably find them right here on YouTube. So definitely go out and check out ClickBank because you can actually get started today um, earning some affiliate income. So the next thing you can do, and I think this is a fourth thing, you can actually sell digital products. Now I hear you, but what if I don't have a digital product? So you can create one very easily. However, there is a way that you can actually borrow per se someone else's digital, I guess, product and sell it. So there are things called private label rights, PLR products that you can buy and you can brand those products as your very own. And if you want to, you can go in there and edit them if they allow you the privilege to do that. So if you do any PLR stuff, make sure that you find out if you can edit those things. And it's amazing because now PLR does lots of things. So you can do eBooks, you can do courses, Go and Google PLR today, today. And when you do that, you'll be able to find some content that you could actually purchase and it's not very expensive. And then you can sell it over and over and over again. And of course have that link 
on your website or in your social media um, by your platform. But now on to the next. Now, nowadays, you can actually go a little step further and offer paid subscriptions. And you can do this now through YouTube, which is amazing. You can do it through Patreon. You can do it through tons of different places. So if you're interested in that, like you can actually Google, how do I set up a subscription service for my services or what platforms can I use? And when you do that, it's going to open up some more revenues or avenues for you to actually start earning money. And there are tons out there that a lot of people have not heard. And one of them is Ace Fam. And Ace Fam, if I'm not mistaken, is still offering, I guess, bonuses for those who actually are coming onto their platform. And if you can actually find some newer platforms, they're probably going to be offering more offers or promotions so that they can get more people on there. So think about doing that and find a newer platform. And guess what? Your revenue is probably going to increase even faster that way. Now on to the next. Crowdfunding is another thing you can do. So you can do things like Patreon, let's see what else, Kickstarter, Indiegogo. These are places where you can actually raise funding for your cause, for whatever you're trying to do. So let's say, for example, for your digital creation business, you want to, I don't know, create some kind of a program or a course, and you need help raising funds to do that. So you can use these things on Indiegogo is actually one of my favorites because before they were doing crowdfunding, they were actually allowing people to put their products or their new products out there before anyone else gets it, before it goes mainstream. And that's just a little side tip. If you're interested in that, of course, go to Indiegogo and you'll be able to get new technology before it even comes out. But yeah, really think about those three things because those three things are quick and I guess simple ways for you to earn income. Now, the next thing you can do is actually to sell physical products. Now, physical products does not mean that you actually have to create a physical product. So you can go to different places like imprints, for imprints, I believe is what it's called, if you wanna create some of your own stuff, or you could even do Alibaba, or you can actually find some different websites that will help you create your own stuff online and they will actually help sell it for you. You won't even have to necessarily box anything up, wrap anything up, ship anything. You just put your images and stuff on there and then guess what? They're going to do the rest. So definitely think about selling your own product because when you do that, that's another great way to actually monetize your content. And one thing I would say is if you do create something like a mug and you like to drink coffee or tea, whenever you're creating your content, actually use that mug in your content. And you can say, hey, if you like my new mug, if you like this mug, find the link in my bio um, and get you one, you know, things like that. All right, now on to the next. The very last thing that I love actually is to offer services. Now offering services could actually be a, a range of different things that you can do. So you can do freelance work, but one thing I personally like to do is I like to coach other people to do what I do. I like to teach people. I So I do online courses, like there are several different like services that you can do and you can do them online. You don't have to be there at that place, but you can do that. So offering services all depends on your gift and you walking in your purpose. So as long as you're walking in your purpose and your digital creation business, guess what's going to happen? You, my friend, are going to be able to actually help more people and earn more money. So what I want to do today is to first off say thank you so much for being a part of what I do. And I really want to thank you for subscribing, for liking, all those things that you all do whenever you're here watching me. And I would love to suggest that if you are starting out or let's say you want to grow or scale your digital creation business, think about me, think about Denise. I would love to be able to help you. And guess what? I will start helping you out with some free training in my new community in Facebook. So if you're interested, let me know, say me, drop your favorite emoji, do all those things. And I will make sure I send you the link over. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.